something's out in the water, said Connor. The water roiled for a moment, with a turbulence like the wake of a speedboat, and Connor found himself backing up till he came up against the large willow tree. He cried out, My God, it's hideous! What is, said Jace, I can't see anything. A voice spoke among them, Do not fear. There is evil in the water, but it cannot touch us here. They turned and saw the luminous figure walking toward them until he stopped by Connor and placed his hand on his shoulder. None could later say exactly what the figure looked like. Noble, surely, dressed in clothes of another time and place, young and strong, clearly, but almost insubstantial, as if only the light from the dancing fireflies gave him substance. With a wave of his hand, he sent a mass of the luminous insects out over the water. Whatever had been there was gone. Connor looked up at the stranger. I saw it. What was that thing? It seemed as if the figure smiled a sad smile. Your enemy, lad, and all of ours. Friends of this boy, good it is for you to come and stand by his side in his hour of need. For he is important to the land, and in the days and months ahead, will have need of friends and companions. He knows not who or what he is, and his heart is heavy now that he walks alone in the world. You must be there to give him strength for what is to come. The Devourer will seek him, the one who watches us from the waters, and in the way of evil it will find him somewhere and somehow. It wears many disguises, but death is its heart and its goal. Before he comes into his own, this boy will suffer much." The figure looked down at Connor and took the boy's chin gently in his palm. He looked deeply into Connor's eyes and grim-faced, stepped back. Raising his hand, he spoke. Three times pierced, three times wounded. Thrice to bring the king to birth. Once comes the other world, twice the pains of change, Thrice pierced a kingdom gained. So says the crow that flies above, So says the barrow prince hidden in the mound, So says he who walks the twilight bound. He turned, looking at them all. The land is in peril, all of you are in danger, The whole world shifts as the old ones awake. Take care of him. He will find his allies among the creatures of the wild, but few of humankind will take to him. He is the bridge between the old and the new, between what was and what is yet to be. And who are you? asked Connor. What is your name? But the figure was gone, dissolved in a sparkle of fireflies, dimming into the night.